Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the last lecture, we learned about source coding and different types of source coding. That is uh, lossless and lossy types of so source codings. So far, we have learned that is source coding. Uh, what is source coding and its parameters? Now we will learn source coding methods. There are two most important and popular source coding methods. One is Huffman coding and second is Lempel Ziff coding. Huffman suggests a source coding method. Huffman suggests a source coding coding method in 1952, based on probabilities of the source symbols. So the Huffman coding is uh, based on information theory of Shannon. Uh, information theory of Shannon is also based on probabilities of the source symbols, and Huffman coding is also based on probabilities of the source symbols. This method is optimal in the sense that the average number of bits it requires to represent the source symbols is sim is minimum and also meets the prefix condition. So, uh, what sort this uh, uh, what can we achieve using this Huffman code? Uh, when if you use Huffman code, then the number of bits which uh, we uh, average number of bits which uh, is required to represent that source symbols is minimum. So, uh, the number of bits cannot be reduced from the uh, average number of bits uh, cannot be reduced from the number of bits required in case of Huffman coding and that Huffman code is also uh, meets the prefix condition so uh, if we use Huffman coding so it what we get is a source code which has which is a minimum in number of bits and also prefix in condition one important condition for Huffman code is that there must be more than one maximum length code word for example 0 1 0 1 1 can be a Huffman code because there are two code words of maximum length 2 1 0 and 1 1 and they differ only in last bit but 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 0 is not a valid Huffman code because there is only one code word of maximum length 3 As you can see over here, this is a 2-bit code word and this is also a 2-bit code word. So there are at least two 2-bit two code words in this set of code words. So it is a valid Huffman code. But over here, there is only one 3-bit uh, code word and there is, no uh, there is no any other code word having 3 bits. So uh, the maximum length in this code word is 3 and it, there is only one code word uh, which uh, has got 3. Uh, bits, so this is not a valid Huff Huffman code. Huffman coding is example of lossless coding. Now, the very first step in Huffman coding. Huffman coding is step number one. First of all, arrange the source symbols in decreasing order of their probabilities. For example, p of p of x1 is equal to 0.2, p of x2 is equal to 0.7, and p of x3 is equal to 0.1. Then arrange them in order like this, p of x2 is equal to 0.7, p of x1 is equal to 0.1 and p of x3 is equal to 0.1. So as you can see over here, the, the maximum number is on the top, the, the then the second uh, highest probability and the least higher prob prob probability is at the bottom. Huffman coding is step number two. Take the bottom two symbol probabilities and always assign one to the less probable symbol and zero to more probable symbol between the two. After assigning one and zero to the symbols, add them up. Treat this sum of probabilities as a new probability associated with a new symbol. Again, pick up the two smallest probabilities, tie them together. Again, assign 1 to less probable symbol and 0 to more probable symbol. In case both the symbols have same probability, assign 1 to lower symbol and 0 to higher symbol. Continue until only one probability is left. Now, let's go through an example which will explain all these steps uh, uh, in a very clear fashion. Example, for example, x1 is equal to 0.4, x2 is equal to 0.3, these are the probabilities. X1 is equal to 0.4 is the probability of X1. X1 is equal to 0.4. X2 is equal to 0.3. X3 is equal to 0.1. X4 is equal to 0.04. X5 is equal to 0.1. And X6 is equal to 0.06. Now, how do we arrange these probabilities is the very first step. 
as you can see first of all we have written down the least probability that is x4 is equal to 0 0.04 then 0 0.06 which is more than 0 0.04 then 0 0.1 x5 is equal to 0 0.1 then x3 is equal to 0 0.1 x2 is equal to 0 0.3 and x1 is equal to 0 0.4 which is the maximum probability since x3 and x5 have got uh, the same probability they could have been uh, written down in any uh, sequence this x3 could have been over here and this x5 could be also could be over here now the next step was that to we tie these two least probabilities and add them so first of all we tie them using this uh, lines and then we assign 1 to the lower probability if we compare 0 0.06 and 0 0.04 then 0 0.04 is less than 0 0.06 so the lower probability is x is equal to x4 is equal to 0 0.04 so we assign 1 to x uh, this 0 0.04 and 0 to 0 0.06 and then add these two probabilities which is 0 0.10 this is the very first step we have done now what we do next is that we tie this probability with this probability as you can see we have tied these two probabilities and since these two probabilities are equal so we, what we said that if the probabilities are equal then assign one to the lower probability so in this case we will assign one to this one as you can see this we have assigned one to this node and 0 to this node we can call them nodes in this uh, diagram now after adding point 0.1 with point 0.1 what we get is point 0.20 now we have to tie this point 0.20 with point 0.10 we tie them together after tying them together we have to assign one to the lower probability lower prob probability in this case is 0 0.10 not 0 0.20 so we will assign 1 to this node this upper node not the lower node so 0 is assigned to 0 is assigned to 0 0.20 and 1 is assigned to 0 0.10 in this over here we assigned 1 to the lower node and 0 to the upper node 1 to the lower node 0 to the upper node here 1 is assigned to upper node and 0 to lower node just because the lower probability is 0 0.10 compared to 0 0.20 in this case after assigning the uh, bits or 10 now we add these two values 0 0.10 with 0 0.20 and the result is 0 0.30 now again we assign uh, we tie these two probabilities 0 0.30 is tied with this 0 0.30 again these two probabilities are equal so what we do is that we assign 1 to the lower node so 1 is assigned to this node 0 is assigned to this node and then these two are added to get 0 0.60 after getting 0 0.60 we again tie this 0 0.60 with this 0.40 and this 0 0.40 is lower so it will get 1 this one has got 0 this one gets 1 and the now the final probability is 1 as you can see it is it is the only one probability is left it has uh, no more probability is there to we added one thing and the second thing is that it we have got the maximum number uh, 1 as we know that the maximum probability is uh, 1 it cannot be more than 1 so if uh, there is any you have made any mistake and you don't get 1 over here when there is only one probability left then it means that you have made some mistake in addition or uh, some uh, the placement of these probabilities now this is the very first thing we needed to do which we have done now Huffman coding is step 3 what we have to do for step 3 how do we get code word out of that uh, diagram to find out the prefix code for any symbol follow the branches from the final node back to the symbol while tracing back the route read out the labels on the branches this is the code word for the symbol 
this is the same diagram which we had seen before and now we are going to trace the how do we trace the uh, from the final node and how do we get the code words in this exercise now look over here if this is my starting node for all the codes for all the code means for to find the code one for x1 for x2 for x3 x5 x6 x4 for all these uh, symbols I will always start from this point to find the code word when I start the uh, this from this point I have to reach from this point to this point and I have to follow the path what what is the path from this point to this point this is the path this is the path and I will write down all the ones and zeros which I encounter or come across uh, when I move from here to here so when I move from start moving from here then I will go up I will not go down because if I will go down then I will either go this way or that way which is not path to x1 I have to go to the path which leads to x1 so I will start from here then I will go up after going up I will move this way when I go this way I first I encounter or come across this one which I write down over here and then I reach over here there is no any other bit uh, in between them so oh, there is only one uh, this is uh, the code word for x1 is one bit and that is one after that I'll start tracing the path for x2 look at the path for x2 it is starts from here the go down then come over here then go up and reach to this point now I have to write down all the bits which I come across when I move along this path so first of all when I start from here I come down and I come across this zero which I write down over here then I keep moving on then I go up then I again come across this zero which I have written down over here again and then I keep moving on and it ends over here so there are only two bits uh, in this path which are zero zero after that I'll start for x3 again I will start from this node first of all I come across this zero which I have written down over here then I move on and I come across this one which I have written down over here then this one which is over here and so the code for x3 3 x3 is 0 1 1 similarly I find the code for x5 start from this point come across this zero again this one is in I come across this one then I will come across this zero and then I will move on to this zero and the node ends over here so the code for x5 is 0100 zero zero. for x6 the code is again zero then 1 then 0 then 1 and then 0 and it the node ends over here this this path ends over here at this node so the code for x6 is 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 for x4 first of all here 0 then this 1 over here then this one and then this one so the code for x4 is 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 now the code which we code words which we have uh, uh, achieved for these symbols is if we take the average length of these code words then this is the minimum the or, um, number of bits which we can achieve there is no any other coding method using uh, with by, by using which we can achieve any the average number of bits lower than this uh, figure and all these code words are prefix free code as well as you can see this one is not in the beginning of any other code word 
this 00 is not in the beginning of any other code word this 011 is also not in the beginning of any other code word so this is a prefix free code entropy of the source code we have just constructed using Huffman code is now we will calculate the entropy of it if we calculate the entropy we know what, what how to calculate the entropy that is multiply the probability of each symbol with its with its own log base 2 so 0.4 multiplied by log base 2 of 0 0.4 0 0.3 multiplied by log base 2 of 0 0.3 0 0.1 is multiplied by log base 2 of 0 0.1 and so on and after doing the calculation what we get is 2.1425 this is the entropy now we have to calculate the average number of bits which we have achieved in this code over here so for x1 the number of bits is 1 which is multiplied by its probability 0.4 then for second code the number of bits is 2 and the probability is 0.3 and 3 is multiplied by 0.1, 4 is multiplied by 0 0.04, 5 is multiplied by 0.1 and 5 is also multiplied by 0 0.06 and what we get is 2.26 as you can see this is uh, higher than uh, this one uh, entropy 2.1425 and if we uh, divide this uh, 2. 1, 4, 2, 5 divided by 2.6 then we will get the efficiency as well we can calculate any in fact we can calculate it uh, 2.1425 divided by 2.26 is equal to 0.94 so the maximum efficiency which can be achieved using this uh, by using any code word method is 0.94 because we cannot reduce the number of bits from 2.26 because this is the minimum number however this is the limit but uh, there is no any such code uh, coding method which can give you l lesser number uh, of bits than Huffman coding